a once in a thousand lifetimes experience for stargazers right now. A comet that was last seen 80,000 years ago is back for a return engagement with Earth. People in the northern hemisphere can see the comet over the next few weeks by looking at the sky after sunset. It's the Chuchin Shan Atlas, and it's about 71 million kilometers away, and we won't see it for another 80,000 years. Joining me now is astronomy technician Tiffany Fields to talk more about this. This is pretty cool. I like it. I'm pretty excited about this. It's not very often that we have a comet in our skies that we can see with just our eyes. And so starting tonight and even last night a little bit through, I think, the next week is going to be the best time to try to see this comet in our skies here. Okay, from Canada, what's the best way to look? Are we looking north, east, west, south? Great question. So the comet is right above the sun right now in the sky. So we can see the comet along the western horizon right after sunset. So for observers that want to try to spot this comet, and I think that you should, uh, take a look at where the sun is setting on your horizon in the west and have a clear good view of the western horizon. I would say wait about 30 to 45 minutes after the time of sunset. And then starting tonight, the comet is going to be about 10 degrees high above the horizon. And so I'm holding my fist up because if you hold your fist out at arm's length, that's mm -hmm. about 10 degrees high. Um, and we have a great reference point. The bright planet Venus is in the sky about two fists to the left of the comet. So if you can see that bright planet Venus, just over to the right of it is where this comet is going to be. Um, if you can't see it with your eyes, I recommend pulling out a pair of binoculars and scanning the sky close to the horizon a little bit after the sun has set. All right, and how do we know? It's been 80,000 years. How do we know that? So this is really interesting. We, or astronomers, discovered this comet in early uh, 2023, in January 2023, and seeing the first photos of the comet to track how it's moving in the sky, astronomers were able to calculate um, what its period might be, so how often it comes into the inner solar system. And the first calculation showed that the period of this comet was at least 80,000 years. And more recent calculations show that it actually might be way longer than that. What I think is interesting is this might, might be the very, very first time that this comet has come into the inner solar system. And as it leaves the inner solar system, it might be the last time that humans ever see it. Now, do we know where it's from? Do we know how old it is? Mm-hmm. So... Comets in our solar system were all formed at about the same time as all of the planets were formed. They were formed from like leftover ices and debris and such in our solar system. And this comet comes from way past the orbits of Neptune and Pluto. It comes from a place called the Oort cloud, which is like a sphere where there's a whole bunch of comets out in the outer ranges of our solar system. This is like 2,000 up to 100 times or 100,000 times as far as where the Earth is from the sun. So they're way out in the outer solar system. Um, very, very, very old objects coming into the inner solar system near the sun and earth for a visit. And we're almost out of time. What do we hope to learn from this? Are we going to be able to learn anything from it? Will it be close enough? So I hope that many, many people get out to observe it. Uh, astronomers, of course, are going to learn a little bit more about what comets might be made out of, but I hope that it's a fun thing for us astronomers and stargazers to enjoy. All right, we will. Tiffany, thanks very much for joining us and sharing with us. Thanks with for us. having me. Tiffany Fields is an astronomy technician.